Good morning. of you sweet followers and subscribers have so reached out to me and told me about Jamie from um, I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. You told me about her duck and about the nice and deficiency. And I told you guys, when you speak, I listen. So I had this wonderful conversation with one of you and you sent me the video of Jamie's duck that couldn't walk and how she discovered that it was a niacin deficiency. And so um, I was able to talk to the subscriber and she contacted Jamie for me at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. And she um, found exactly the niacin um, supplement that Jamie used and immediately I ordered it. So the supplement is supposed to come in the mail this week. And you know, I have rescued several ducks. Probably, I think I'm up to 18 now that I have rescued. And I have seen the niacin deficiency firsthand and I know it causes leg injuries. I, or makes it mimic a leg injury, even though it is a niacin deficiency. I have had that at least 13 times with these injured ducks that I have rescued. So I'm very familiar with it. But I did not think that Penny Lane's problem was a niacin deficiency simply because of the feed that I feed her. I didn't think that that could, that could happen. But listen, I'm at the point right now that I am willing to try anything to make her better. So I went ahead and I ordered it. Again, I told you guys, I listen to your comments. I read them. You were messaging me about Jamie and I am going to try the supplement. So again, I ordered it and get it. I'm gonna get it in this week to see if by chance this is a niacin deficiency and it just looks different on Penny Lane than it did on the others that I rescued. If I feed her this niacin supplement, and she gets better, we are gonna have a celebration. We are gonna have a celebration and I'm gonna tell Jamie that her video saved Penny Lane's life. And I pray that this is a nice deficiency and nothing and has nothing to do with her spine and so forth. But I will say that Penny Lane's symptoms look so different from the others that I have dealt with. But I'm listening to you guys and I'm gonna take your advice and I'm gonna I try I do it. want to say thank you for caring about Penny Lane so much that you guys reached out to me and you guys are praying for her and wishing her well and telling me remedies of what you think I can do to help her because I listen, like I said, and it just means a lot to me that you care about my animals just as much as I do, so thank you. So with that said, let's go inside and check on Penny Lane. You know, Penny Lane also has jaundice. Um, I've never dealt with that. That is something totally new to me. Um, as many ducks as I've rescued, I've never had one with jaundice. So, um, I know you guys watch all these farm pages. So if you've seen a remedy <laughs> that you can help me with with jaundice, please let me know so I can help Penny Lane. You see the yellowing in her eyes? Penny Lane's mommy's good girl. 
Yes, he is. He's mommy's good girl. I just love this duck so much. So, as well as you know, today is my day off. I'm closed on Mondays. And normally, Mondays are my cleaning day. I spend the entire day cleaning. But, I needed to go to the grocery store. And, I needed to run errands today. I needed to go to the pharmacy. And, I'm just trying... You know, I talk about balance, right? And, in order to be healthy, you have to be spiritually fed, mentally fed, physically fed, and emotionally fed. And part of being balanced is having proper rest. And today I'm going to spend a little bit of time resting, but I need to go out here and check on to see what Garth is doing. You like those barn doors i burnt the insides just to kind of look to see what it would look like compared to the outside so burning it kind of preserves the wood cleans it up a little bit keeps the bugs out of it before i see it so sorry about that noise that was loud yeah trucks driving by but uh anyway uh what's your thoughts on the door mine or yep. theirs. Do you Either care one. about mine? Either one. Are you asking me or them? Well, let me go take a closer look. Hmm. So I really like it. I just can't decide if you should go darker or just leave it the way it is. I think once you burn the outside, I think um, let me ask you this. If we burn the outside, can you go back and stain it if it looks terrible? Uh, we won't be able to. Well, yeah, we could probably stain it, but it's going to be real dark because we're bringing out the darkness in the wood now. We can go back and pile it. That's my intentions is to get the door sealed, get the bugs out of it, and I can pile it or water Thompson seal it and preserve the wood a little, little bit. I thought you told Brooke that you were going to burn it and then stain it. It depends on how dark we want it. Mm. Burning it preserves the wood. Uh, and then uh, it'll, we, can, we can go back and you don't want to stain over burnt wood. Uh, so you see this tracking up here? My talented husband actually built this track for this door to go on. And I feel like he's pretty talented to be able to do that. Just say it.
so I'm here looking at his door and uh, one thing that you need to know is as it ages it's going to look better and better and better because it'll begin to fade and it'll, the the colors that are, that are showing through will end up turning a different color so as time goes on it's going to be absolutely gorgeous so the doors look really good it's going to be better and better as it goes on so I need to get up from here because I've got a gr grooming to do, a grooming session, I guess I should say. My bunnies need to be groomed, so now will be the time to be able to go in there because it's cooled off because it's been raining all day, and I'll be able to do that. So I'll send you a picture afterwards. We did pretty good. Got a whole bowl full. What should we make? Wow. Mm, I like frozen blueberries. That's what my favorite thing is. Oh, but we could have blueberry cobbler. Hey, we can. If we need someone that can make it. Yeah, so we <laughs> be nice to have some blueberry ice cream, but we can't get nobody like that. So we just got finished picking blueberries and we kept hearing our cow moo. And I was like, why is he moving? Mooing, not moving. God, y'all ready to see? You ready to see what we're facing right now? Why in the hello patootie are y'all over here? Why in the heck? Tater bug, you're getting a spanking. Oh my gosh. They're over here again. The gate came open. We got the cows over here. We got the goats eating the chicken food in the Dargum chicken run. Really? This is this is farm life, guys. This is farm life. Got Dexter over here. You ready to see this? Look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Are y'all doing? We got. I'm drenched from chasing animals to the other side of the fence. That darn fence keeps coming undone, and I keep forgetting to make sure it's locked when I leave. I think I need to write it on my forehead to help me remember, because this is like the third time the animals have gotten out. But I know y'all are dying for me to give you an update on Penny Lane. Today is July 4th, and I've been videoing over the past couple of days. Um, I did go to my Amazon and it's supposed to be, the niacin is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So as soon as it's delivered, I will administer the niacin to see if that's what's wrong with her. Here she is. Her eyes look better. They look better. She's still not quite getting up and walking. Um, she's pretty much just sitting around. Let me show you my baby ducklings. You see that hunk of burning love in the back? Just <laughs> Every night we do animals together. Um, we put them to bed, we do the feeding, we fill up the waters and all the stuff, fill up the feeders and get ready for the next day. And it's so nice to have a team player to help me. Today, we had a petting zoo from Athens. Um, that's probably, it's over an hour. My, my glasses are fogging up. It's over an hour uh, from here, and they're a traveling petting zoo, which is a bit different from mine because I don't enjoy traveling at all. So um, she that's all she does. She doesn't open her home to the public. So we um, met each other today for the first time, and she brought her alpaca kazoo to meet me and Garth and the rest of the animals. 
being a newt. Yeah. He is being a newt. He's and being such a newt. And that's why Jesus doesn't like him, because he's being a newt. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. You are so cute. So, these two little boogers were a different... I don't really call them a ra rescue. They weren't in a bad situation or anything. This is Nola. Nola. And this is Marilyn Bunroe. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? Hey, Bunny.